Greetings folks, today we are going to dismantle, repaste, and reassemble the Xiaomi Notebook Pro. This features the i5-8250U. Underneath this little rubber foot has one screw, the rest need not removal whatsoever. You have T5 Torx bits, remove all of those, and then you will carefully be able to remove the lid. Use something like a plastic pry tool of some sort and just work your way all the way around to remove the bottom panel. We are on BIOS 300 here. This allows us to unlock the TDP, making this 15 watt U chip now unlock itself to 45 watts. That means all eight threads on this 8250U run at their maximum 3.4 gigahertz without any power or thermal throttling whatsoever. There's no need for me to do this job. The maximum temperature under hours of Battlefield 1 would hit 94 degrees Celsius. Again, no issue whatsoever with a maximum decibel of around 42 to 43 dB. But because we are Bob of all trades, we're going to take this thing apart, put some cryonaut on it, and now drop temperatures on the CPU by about 5 degrees. GPU is very tameable on this. It was hitting 78 degrees before. It's hitting 77 degrees now. I call that within margin of error. Was this worth the time? Yes, of course it is. Make sure you unplug the battery. Now, that whole entire black section between both fans is actually copper. It is very, very thin. But nonetheless, the heat dissipation on this 8250U and MX150, this is absolute overkill. If you run this thing stock, I have this thing overclocked on both the GPU running 1000 megahertz on the memory, 150 on the core. What was normally just a short boost of 3.4, we're now running that on all eight threads. I am beating this thing to death and thermal management and capabilities here, no problem on this chassis. Good job, Xiaomi. The six screws, they're very tiny, remove that from the heat sink and then slowly begin to pry around. Something very unique about this heat sink is the outer edges of the heat sink have this flange and they sit inside of this aluminum groove that is actually attached to the motherboard. So be very careful when putting this back together, but that also means it's going to be nearly impossible to do it incorrectly. But I state be careful because a lot of this stuff is very thin and I do not want you to bend anything. But all in all, this is a relatively simple job. Just take your time and slowly pry up all the way around and you will not have an issue. You notice right here that that fan was jostled just a little bit. I did unscrew the fans initially as I thought they needed to be removed. They do not. So no need to remove the screws from the fan. At this point, we're going to go ahead and proceed with actually cleaning all of the thermal paste using isopropyl alcohol, some paper towels, Q-tips, you know, various things like that. Very basic stuff. Everybody that's doing this job should have this in their repasting kit. Now it's time to apply the Thermo Grizzly Cryonaut. We're going to take just a dab of that, put that on the MX150 dedicated GPU. And then we'll move on over to the Intel 620 integrated GPU. And then after that, onto the CPU, which is the i5-8250U. Next, it's time to replace the heatsink. Now remember, the flanged section on the outer rim of the copper heatsink itself must sit inside of the aluminum groove that is attached to the motherboard. Unlikely that you would miss this. If you do, the screws will not line up and you'll have to start over. Casually work your way all the way around, gently pushing that back into place. It won't necessarily have a satisfying click, but more of like a thunk type sound. It'll be relatively soft, but it will push into place. Very difficult to screw up if you're paying attention, but should you miss this, again, the screws will not line up into the holes onto the motherboard. After that, take the six tiny screws that held the heatsink into place, reinstall them, followed by plugging in the battery. Final section is to replace the bottom panel. Do not get too rambunctious at this point. This is metal, but it's very bendable. So take your time and just casually press this down in the middle first, work your way to the outside. You're gonna have about nine or 10 different places where this will click into place. After that, take your T5 screws, Reinstall them. Again, take your time. We don't want you to scratch the bottom panel on this beautiful chassis. And the rest is pretty simple. Fire it up and enjoy maybe 5 to 7 degree temperature drop on the CPU. This is Bob of all trades. Peace out.